we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts, with another AK Blade episode. Man, how do you do that? What? The intro? Yes. My voice hurts a little. It, it requires a superhero's touch. Not that again. Here. Let me demonstrate for mm. you. And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. Yeah, I don't think I need you to demonstrate demonstrate it for me, okay? To have the court reporter read back to you. I know what I said. I don't have to have it read back to me. Like you sound like that guy on the the commercial for the wrestling. You know, let's get let's ready, get to, ready rumble. to rumble. And he does it for like two minutes, and you're like, dude, shh. You know he's famous for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, you have to hold it for a while, and you really have to put some mm behind it. You know, like brass ones, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't have those in. No, I don't guess you do. Anyways, uh, that seems like something a, a sidekick would do anyway, so. That's why I you, had you do you, it. No, 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 that's why you can keep it. You can keep the intro, okay? I'll just come up with my own phrase. Hmm, yeah, okay. That's about as lame as giving yourself your own nickname. <sighs> yeah, because no one here has given themselves their own nickname. Well, sure yeah, um, oh, you know what it means. But uh, your mother is so big, her belt size was equator, so. Get it, equator! Oh so you just okay. broke out into a mama joke? Yes. Yes, I did. This is so 1980s. I mean, do you have a scrunchie laying around somewhere? Oh, wow, a guy who knows waka, what a scrunchie waka, is. Waka, waka, waka. No, like, <laughs> not at all weird. Um, maybe we should get on with the show now. You may be right. Mm -hmm. But before we get on, to the knives on the table. Mm -hmm. Make sure you take care of the like and subscribe button. Yeah, if you like what you heard so far, just take care of the like, subscribe, and notification bell button. That way you can continue to, to we can, can continue. Let me get it out right. Okay, that way we can continue to supply you AKers with new picks, news, and videos. Take care of, you know? What are you? A YouTube mob boss? I might be. So you better watch out. On your mark, get set, go. You'll never sleep with the fishes at AtlanticKnife.com. I stole it. He's not going to find it. If you're the YouTube mob boss, mm -hmm. I think I am perfectly safe. Oh my gosh, that's what you think. You know, I want you to let your guard down. Underestimate me, then BAM! BAM! You just ran into the wall. No. BAM as in I took care of you. Like only a mob boss could. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you know what? I probably didn't even do it myself. I probably have one of my, you know, lackeys do it for me. Lackeys? Mm-hmm. And you know what? You could have been one when you uh, chose to be on my bad side. So, uh, real pity. A mob boss like me could have used a sidekick like you. <laughs> I don't think it works like I've that. I've heard it both ways. Uh, let's not keep them waiting anymore. We, we got <clears throat> stuff from uh, Stat Gear, uh, Best Tech, Kaiser, uh, and Artisan this week. So, let's not keep you guys waiting anymore. See, so go ahead and uh, start with the uh, Stat Gear ledge slip joint. All right. No problem. This knife has a two and a half inch D2 steel blade with a stone washed finish, a modified sheep's foot cut. And it comes in at about, what, 59 to 60, 61 mm -hmm. on the Rockwell scale. It also has this extended blood groove on the top, yep, I see. On the uh, blade, which is easier to use to open the blade. Yeah. Than a nail nick, since it is a slip joint. Yeah. Um, the handle is textured, <clears throat> dual layered, black and red machine G10. Uh, this material prevents shrinkage or swelling from extreme temperature and maintains superior strength while still keeping the carry light and weight. It also has, uh, well, it's supposed to have, but it doesn't look like it came with one. It might be in the, uh, no. It's not in the box. No. I think, I think, uh, Somebody, like, 
skimped down on us. Well, it looks like it has spots. For it you. has spots for we a reversible will check into that one for deep tip-up carry pocket clip, but uh, they're not here, so. Finally, the overall length of this carry is mm -hmm. approximately six inches. It weighs just over two ounces. Mm -hmm. It has a slip joint, which is a non-locking mechanism, mm -hmm. with a stainless steel back spring and torque screws. You know, I like the look of this knife. You know, I think I do too. When I first see it, stay with me, okay? My mind immediately kind of goes to like red lasers. It's just how the red lines cut through the, the dark G10 on the handle. I mean, I feel like I should be bending myself, you know, into a pretzel or a round stuff, just to be able to even hold the folder. Yeah, for a second, mm -hmm. I thought you were a little bit crazy. Only a little, huh? Yeah. But then, as you kept on, I could—I I know what you mean. I can see it. Definitely the lasers. No, you don't. Yeah, I mean, I can see the idea of red lasers. The red line, it's <coughs> very easy to see now. I just needed to be shown the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Our next knife is a version of the last one. Mm-hmm. But with brown lasers. Yeah. Do they have brown lasers? No, I don't think so. Anyways, this knife has the same specs as the previous. Oh my gosh, this one has the pocket clip. Yes, it does. Where did the one on this one go? You know what? Someone took it off. No. Nobody would take it off, would they? Because that would make the person who was looking at that one uh -huh. kind of look like a fool. Well, I didn't take it off, but it's not in here, though. No, they wouldn't do that. Okay. <clears throat> he didn't. Don't, don't let him fool you. He didn't. Actually, he don't know where it is either. It's a little different color. Uh huh. So, yeah, handle being the same. Uh huh. Same features. Go well, ahead. I think this combination of colors, you know, the black and the brown, is more for the everyman. The other one is just a kind of like a bit out there with the red lines. A little more dangerous, you know, a risk taker. Especially if they're gonna like maneuver lasers. Well, whether manu maneuvering lasers or risk taking, mm -hmm. you can get both of these blades for only thirty four ninety nine. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Mm-hmm. Hey, sorry, wait a minute. Hold on. I have to have one of these. You can put it on my tab. I want this one because it has the. Belt. I would have taken that one because I'm into lasers. Uh huh. But <clears throat> uh, the next blade is the Best Tech Bison. You know, this knife mm -hmm. is very Kershawish to me. Kershaw-esque. It reminds Fancy. me of if. A cryo mm -hmm. and a ZT. I didn't bring the ZT, but everybody can picture it in their mind. Had a baby. Okay, yeah. Comment I'd never expect to hear from you. Uh, this mashup baby carry, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, has a black G10 front handle and a stonewash finished titanium back. The blade of this frame lock is made of D2 steel, which is about three and a half inches long. Uh, this knife also has extended tang, uh, a lanyard hole, uh, ceramic ball bearings, and a titanium pocket clip. It's there this time. Mash up baby carry. Yeah. I never like, thought those words would be uttered on this show. I, I never, hey. yeah. You actually, you know, I'm not There's surprised that they stuff. were. This knife also comes with a black nylon zippered case for on-the-go storage. Mm-hmm. Your knife is ready for wherever you go. Hey, Joel. What? Oh. Th yes, thank you, sidekick. There's also some jimping on the blade and on the flipper. Thank you very much, sidekick. Thank you. This is getting old. You're absolutely right. The sidekick doesn't point out your mistakes. It, what? That's what yeah, the superhero yeah, does. No. I think we should just kind of stop this. You know what? You're right, sidekick. I accept your surrender. <laughs> That's not what I meant. And you guys can get this super jewel tastic <laughs> knife on Get the Best Tech Bison for only $110 on AtlantaKnife.com. And that's no bull. Up next 
is the Kaiser CO1C Mini Sheepdog Frame Lock in blue. Is it too much or just right? It is just right. Wow, we're going to say that's a My Cousin Vinny reference because we've said before that we can't quote the three bears and we won't. No trace bears here. Nope. It was a My Cousin Vinny reference. Yep, that's what it was. Uh, this handle is made of blue 6AL4V titanium, while the blade, which is about uh, 3 inches long, is made of CPM S35 VN steel. The overall length uh, is about 7 and 3 fourths, maybe a little, little shorter, um, while the square flipper stud allows for one hand deployment that is smooth as silk. It also has the blue pivot accent cover, which normally wouldn't be different, except this time it surrounds a gold pivot cap instead of a silver one which is a bit different. And the color also matches the screws and the reversible pocket clip. Uh, this frame lock mm -hmm. weighs almost three ounces and comes with a black nylon pouch in a very snazzy box. Oh, you're trying to bait me again. Like a trout. You should get a hobby. <laughs> what, like collecting beanie babies? That was a joke and you know it. It is a joke. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. No, it was. Okay, it was. Finally, this knife has three cutouts along the handle and was designed by Sheepdog Knives in collaboration with Kaiser. Hey, Joel. No. Joel. I said no. I will not play into your game. Hey, no, Joel! No. Joel! Just Joel! Joel. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. that one slipped out. Jerk. Joel. What? Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> what kind of car does a mini sheep or lamb like to drive? I'm only going to answer so we can get over with it, okay? Mm -hmm. What? A lamb Borghini. <laughs> Dignify that with a response. All I got's a Bugatti. Um, this uh, knife also has a few barrel spacers. I just want to think she thought my joke was. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Um, this next carry uh, is the Best Tech Fanga Liner Lock. Yeah. Uh, this handle is made of interlayered carbon fiber and blue G10 material. The blade is approximately four and a half inches and is made of D2 steel and comes in at about 59, 61 on the harness scale. I think most do come in on like 51, 61 on the harness D2. scale. D2. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this blade also has an extended blood groove, uh, similar to the one on the stack here, except it's a bit longer and, and deeper and has a, uh, I'm not sure what this is for exactly, this triangular shape here near the end of it. I think it's for design. Maybe. I'm not going to leave anybody look. in suspense this week. This is my favorite knife this week. This knife also has a blue 6AL4V titanium pocket clip. And it's about nine and a half inches long and weighs four and a half ounces. It's also got some jumping on the flipper stud and blade. Uh, a nice black backspacer, very smooth. And the black pivot accent we've seen a few times before makes an appearance as well. This knife was designed by Kombu and the idea for the knife involved for wanting a tactical mm -hmm. close combat purpose tool with a good looking design. Achieved. Yeah, I like the design. The inspiration for the clip point style blade and the sculpted look of the handle mm -hmm. was the world of wild predator animals. Wow. Yeah, that sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. No. Sounds awesome. I mean, I mean it sounds awesome. Don't I, get me wrong. I can see that. I mean, the blade does look scary enough to be coming like out of the claw of like a, a tiger. I mean, look, if you saw his claws on the table, his paw, and then you saw this coming out, you'd be like, Yeah, see, I'm not the artistic type. <coughs> I don't look yeah. at that and go, we know. Oh, wow. I bet you that's influenced by three kangaroos, a hippo, and a mighty alligator. I mean, it just, yeah. I mean, this blade is extremely sharp. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a nice knife. I like it. I told you my favorite. Uh -huh. yep. It could rival He's the claw hanging. of a tiger. However, I wouldn't want to be the one to test that out. Nor would I. 
The last knife we have on the table. Knife, stress knife. Knife we have on the table. Though, not inspired by a predatory animal. Mm, no. Nope. It's actually inspired by a bird. <laughs> That's not a predatory animal though. When we say the name, they'll know. If you're bird seed, you're screwed. <laughs> it's just as suited for tasks of all kind, and that is the artisan wren, the deadly wren. Hold on, you know what? No. I am all into it this no. week. No. I got a robin. That's deadly. Like, look, doesn't that thing look ferocious? It looks ferocious to the worm. The worm's being eaten. So it is predatory. Look at there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that two things come to mind. Obviously, wren is in the bird, and I'm going to get judged for this one, but wrestling. I think that's because of the WRE, but yeah, hey, nice. or the WWE, I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know exactly where I got it from. Yeah. I mean, don't ask me to explain my train of thought, okay? You're lucky it hasn't, like, derailed yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it went off the tracks years ago. No. <laughs> it seems like No, sometime. don't even shush. This knife has a three-inch stone-washed finished blade made of D2 steel, uh, while the handle is of, made of black G10. Uh, this carry also has extended tang, uh, a lanyard hole, a flipper stud for lightning fast opening. Which? Which? It's the lightning. Oh. It's right there. No, it's not. It will be. No, it'll be on my side of the screen. And a pocket clip for out and about carry. It's not right. <laughs> I pointed up there. I should get the lightning bolt. Okay, maybe we'll both get the lightning. Finally, this liner lock is seven and a half inches overall and weighs about five and a half ounces. It's got a minor mm -hmm. blood groove or fuller along the top of the blade, minimal jimping on the flippers, flipper stud only, and a plain classic backspacer. A fine, traditional, you know, simple carry, I have to say. Yes, indeed. Ah. <laughs> uh. I would definitely have to have this for an everyday carry EDC. I mean, look at it. It's perfectly suited for all kinds of tasks, outdoors and in. I concur. And it fits right in your hands, mm -hmm. or hand. Has good traction because of the G10. I mean, I think it's a epitome of an EDC. Uh, I also like the Artisan Design logo on the pivot cap. You know, like Kershaw likes to embed their logo somewhere. Um, well, Artisan did that too, and they pulled it off very tastefully and nicely and cleanly. Um, it is a bit heavier than the other knives. But yeah, just, but yeah. I mean, only a little a bit. bit. Although I feel like having a heavier knife can sometimes be a pro. How so? Well, a heavier, sturdier knife uh, can handle more difficult jobs. Um, if you dare say are attacked, <laughs> you can just throw your knife at them. Yes. Because when you're attacked, you should stop, drop, and throw your knife. That's the whole purpose of knives, to throw them at someone. Okay, well, there are throwing knives, okay? I mean, you could throw them at wood, but what's the fun in that? I've never been head. attacked by wood. Oh, okay. Well, that's beside the point, though. Okay, look, if you want to see me, you know me. I feel like if I'm attacked, so much is going on. I'm trying to remember what to do in the situation, you know, where, you know, scream, you know, sing from this congeniality, <laughs> you know, the solar, solar plex, plex instep, instep, nose, and groin. groin. Yeah, I'm not in the mindset to manage where a sharp object is, okay? Don't you really want to go from the window? To the wall. No, okay. we can't. Okay. Sing. I mean, really? Okay, look, wow. it, it was good advice, okay? Anyways, I feel like in that situation, because I'm me, I am more likely to stab myself than the attacker. I mean, honestly, I mean, I can use knives just playing out, you know, cutting something, whatever, but I feel like if I'm attacked, I mean, you don't know what you're going to do in that situation. I feel like I have a better chance of not being wounded if I just throw my knife at them instead of trying to use it. Wow. What happens if you throw it at them uh -huh. and they either catch it or, you know, Throw it back at you. Pick it up. I don't know if it's like dodgeball. If they right catch up. it, are you out? I mean, now you have armed, or more armed, if that's even a term, yeah. an attacker. I mean, what are you going to do then? Okay, well, obviously, I'm going to run like the wind. She's... 
No, no. I, I'd probably throw some more knives. I mean, I know several people that carry more than one knife. This other, this woman I met one time, she showed me all the knives she had. She dumped out her purse. Oh. And she had like 20 knives there. So you mean mad swags. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. But she also had a gun, too, so... I, I don't yeah. know what she would need all those knives and Imagine a gun. Imagine most of our viewers probably have one of those, well, too. Well, no, I know why you need a gun. I got that. But why do you need all those in one purse? Spread them out. You know, every time you take a purse, oh, look, I got a knife in here already. I don't need to pack another one. Think about it. Your probability of hitting them actually increases with the more knives you throw. Exactly. Hey, if you throw a bigger knife, you got a chance of just knocking them out. <laughs> Maybe you throw a little one, they'll step on it and yeah, slip. I, I don't know. You thought you was believing me right at that point. Ooh, here comes that and you guys can get this folder for only $52.49 on. All right. All right. Just do one, two, three, four. Three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Come on. I let you win last time. You let me win? <laughs> yes. No, You're no. never down for the count. And it lay, oh, reversal. And it lay knife. Dot com. com. Atlantic knife. Dot com. <laughs> I did the noise myself. Shameless plug. Yeah, oh, I'm going to start corner. pointing at each shameless plug. No, don't do that. That's my I'm corner, a, isn't it? That is your corner. That's because it's an empty space. It's easier shouldn't for the person right to put here? stuff. I'm just kidding. Oh, shouldn't that be right here? I'll just start covering your face every time we have a shameless plug. That way we can just put it over your face. <laughs> that would be... Yeah. Hold on a second. It'd be like... <laughs> Let's give that a try. Just... Right. Yeah, it'd be kind of hard to see. There we go. Uh, okay. Um, keeping with the artisan brand, we're going to talk about the final tool for this week's episode. Yes, the final tool. I'm sorry. And that is the... What'd you do with it? What? The artisan hummingbird whistle. What? What do you mean, what? This stuff was already pre-prepared. Say what again. What? <laughs> I was just playing. Repeat it back to you like an angry question. Hey, I like that we do something a little different at the end so it's not knives knives knives, knives. now if it's not a little purple whistle i mean you know well i, I didn't choose the color all right i would have chose blue or something it's all right uh-huh yeah and uh, actually it'll probably be the most popular and i think it may be sold out already i don't what? half the stuff we show you guys is sold out mm -hmm. by the time <clears throat> go ahead what do you want me to say? Uh, well, this whistle. It's a good yep. survival tool to mm -hmm. have with you. Mm -hmm. It's made of purple. Well, it's made of titanium. And it's purple. purple. Blue. It's three and a half inches overall, which is a beautiful size for a survival whistle. And it weighs only 1.06 ounces. Now, if they could just knock off that .06 and made it one ounce, this sucker would be EDC in, in, your, in your bug out bag. I mean... It's oh, right there. Wow. Uh, very light, probably due to the titanium, you know? Uh, it also comes with a plastic storage case for safe on the go carry as always, you know. It'd be great. And it's got a little styrofoam mold in there. You know, it would be awesome. I took it out, but I saw it. If that were a dog whistle and you got a. Yeah, ain't no surviving going on there. You might, you might get some wolves coming out. I actually thought after it was you. a dog whistle until I got to thinking, wait a minute, why you would they to hear it. Why would they. Why would, why would we sell dog whistles for survival tools we have other you need, to, you need to call a pack of wolves to you we have that other artillery so uh, dog whistles aren't artillery all right so you, oh, okay. you ain't got anything else to say about the box no i've decided i'm not giving you any more ammunition okay no more upcycling tips okay you just use what i say as ammunition for your jokes okay i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm cutting your supply off right now i'm gonna test you by the way no atlanticknife.com <laughs> Now you gotta put one over my face and a lightning bolt in the corner. I mean, I'm gonna have to do <laughs> Fat chance. Oh, straight face. Almost everything out of your mouth is ammunition for my jokes. Oh, really? Well, what about this? And with that, we've come to the end of yet another AK Blade episode. Don't forget to smile, hit that like button, and tip your waitresses. Or to subscribe. 
you know, we had to. Okay, fine. Don't forget to view some of our past AK Blade episodes or quick one minute previews. We're always posting new every day of the week. V videos, yep. So every just week. be on the lookout for those videos. Uh, not to mention we're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram at nope, Atlantic Knife. No. It'd be funny if, I, if someone puts a two up there when you scroll it. Sc so Ooh. so you guys can uh, see the rock and feed about knives and tools we post. So just check us out on there as well. Well, you're speaking their lingo now, aren't you? Maybe just, just, just a little. Sometimes I worry about you. You don't need to worry about me, okay? My body is a dangerous weapon. I've transformed my body into a dangerous weapon. <laughs> it's true. Mm, mine's a wonderland. Oh my god. That's not what I worry about. No, I cannot believe you just said that. You've heard it before. Yeah, I've heard it in a song. <laughs> Your yes. train of thought has probably derailed by now. Crashed into the side of a building. And everyone that was on the train is either dead or severely injured. Ah, uh, yes. yes. I imagine the train was just empty. Oh, wow. Empty train of thought. <laughs> oh, real zinger there. At least you're you good. Know what? All, no, 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 no. All the greats why, are slightly mad. That's okay? why I make you my sidekick because you are smart enough to get my jokes, and there's not a lot of people that can do that. Well, thank you. I'm not, I'm not too stupid Empty to understand his intellectual jokes. <sighs> yeah. My boy's wicked smart. Yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> I said that sarcastically and used that joke sarcastically. And I take that as a compliment, okay? All the greats are slightly I need to stop you crazy. Because this show has derailed. <laughs> you it's, derailed. It has. <laughs> just, just, just go. Only a crazed person. Would take it as a compliment. I got it. Yeah. I got it. And that I'm, you know, to end this thing up. I'm C. And this is... Jewel. Just Jewel-tastic. And we are signing off. scare them. Do it. Okay. Hit me with a ball. Come on. I dare you. Oh, you know, like a, oh. Yes. <laughs> I hit your face. Like he does with the puck. Come on. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? You're not floating in water. <laughs> All okay. Right. All right. Quit postponing. Woo! One. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Is it one, two, three, four? I declare, declare a thumb, thumb war. War. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, this will be a Shemaza. piece of cake. Shamaza. Hoss and Pepper Incorporated. Yeah, we can't let this last forever. Look over there! Atlantaknife.com! <laughs> I, I win! You see how that just cut like that? At least I can do without kick, kicking his... Oh. That was the bison. I don't think I can do that. That's what she said. Ha! Ah, it's like the spoon on your nose thing. Look, I caught me the biggest clown fish this side of the, the table. That's funny. A clown catching a clown. That's ironic. Don't you think? <laughs>